Pills instead of cures. Time bomb drugs next to all that. Today at four. What do you mean that Katie's birthday party wasn't the first time we met? <sighs> okay, Andy, I didn't tell you before because you seem really preoccupied, you know, with your own problems with Julie and with the drinking and, and frankly, I really didn't know how to tell you. Tell me what? What are you you're talking riddles? <laughs> okay. Ooh. When I left boarding school last March, I I went to Evanston to see a friend of mine at Northwestern, but it ended up that they were in some foreign study program and they weren't there. So I went to Chicago, ended up at a student hotel. I met you in the lobby, remember? I took you up to your room, you're acting really out of it. I um, wanted to help. Wait a minute, what are you saying? Are you saying you're the girl that I met in Chicago? The one who, who called me the next morning who wrote that letter? All right, now, you guys wouldn't joke about a well, thing like this, I would you? We wouldn't joke about this. We've had to put up with you moving around here like a lovesick llama. I was here when Julie called this afternoon, and she said she was going to be in Oakdale Julie at here. 7 o'clock tonight. Well, that's the best news I've had all day. Hell, all week. <laughs> Maybe I should take a shower. What do you think? Um... Uh -huh. <laughs> I think we can Caleb, relax. Now it's only 5.30. Take it easy. Why don't you come to the airport? You can meet Julie. Hell, why don't the whole family come to the airport? We'll give them a, a real Snyder welcome. What do you think? That sounds like a good idea. I love it. All right. <laughs> Link, I can't talk to you now. Caleb's right outside on the porch. Damn it, Julie. I hate all this lying and pretending. I feel like a total hypocrite. Meg and Josh will be staying at Cal's while they're in town. Want to be crowded with Link there? Link's moving into an apartment. Now, come on. Make me a happy farmer and tell me when you're coming home. Well, well, Julie Wendell Snyder. Tucked away here in coach. Now, I thought you always flew first class. Mama? Jessica and Craig told me that there's going to be an investigation. Just thought I'd come down to tell you I'm sorry it's turned into that. That's okay, I can handle that. What I really need, Mom, is to hear you say you understand. soft as the day you were born. I guess I just didn't realize how my indigestion, Daddy. you know, that burning feeling, affected me and everyone around me, even my kids. So I decided to ask my doctor if I needed a prescription. He said, prescription? You don't need a prescription. You just need my Lanta. My Lanta. I figure if it's the one doctors recommend most, I'll give it a try. Mom. And you know, it worked fast. My doctor was right. He said I didn't need a prescription. My doctor said, my Lanta. What does a frisky kitten need? Frisky's kitten formula. Because kittens burn up three times the energy and need three times the calcium of an adult cat. So they need the extra protein and calcium of Frisky's kitten formula. Frisky's kitten formula, canned or dry. The newest member of the Friskies family. Bring out the Frisky in your cat. Marco, please. Don't ask me to give more than I'm ready to give right now, okay? 
It's just, I want you to know I'm opposed to this whole investigation, you know? If I could stop it, I would. But, but Jessica tells me that it's just impossible. She's right. The state is required to conduct an investigation. And that, that man who tried Paul's case, he'd be in charge of this? <clears throat> Jason Benedict. He's in Washington at the time. Um, if he can't take the assignment for some reason, someone else will be appointed. I, I, I've got to get ready for the wake it's tonight. Funerals tomorrow morning. Look, Mama, Tom and I were talking about whether or not I should be there. Really? Yeah, and we decided that it would probably be best if I didn't show up, be too difficult for you and the Paredes. Well, I don't think that Maureen would make a scene. And I think it's important to Craig that you're there make appearances. Mama, I don't care about appearances. I just want to hear that you want me there. I do. Mama, please. Mama. I've got to go. Craig's waiting outside for me. Well, that was a big step for her. Yeah, yeah, big step. My mama is talking about appearances. Well, what did you want her to do? <laughs> Embrace you with open arms? No, I just wanted to, to know that she and everyone else would finally realize that it's what Casey wanted. Well, sometimes you expect too much. Oh, come on. Um, what were you going to say to me before Lila came? And it is so good to have you back. You look fantastic. Thanks. It's time to be back. Okay. Oh, uh, Link Lafferty. This is Andy. Hi. Andy, Link is nice our new liaison Andy. with Stricko. Ah. I talked him into coming for a swim before dinner. Well, you got the whole uh, pool practically to yourself. <laughs> Emily, did Sean mention anything about he and Franny coming here for dinner tonight? Yeah, they should be here soon. I'll show you where to get changed. Excuse us. See you guys later. Sure. It was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, too. Yeah. yeah. Andy, look, I need to talk. I would have told you before, but I... But you I, were too busy. Laughing at me behind my back. Yeah, good old Andy. He wasn't going to remember it the next morning, right? No. I hated not telling you. So why didn't you then? Don't give me that bull about... It, about it being the wrong time or about my personal problems being in the way. It's true, Andy. You must think I'm the biggest jerk in the world. Maybe I am. Because all those weeks thought that whoever that girl was, that she really cared about me, she wrote me a letter and I called me. I do care about you, that... Then why didn't you tell me at least your name? All those weeks you've been here, you didn't say a word. I told Bianca, how many of your other friends have been joking I about Bianca, this I didn't with? I tell anybody. I was waiting to tell you because I... I wanted to tell you first, I just... I, I swear. Okay, fine, you told me. You know how I feel about it. Courtney, I have been calling all over town looking for you. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I, um, I knew that you were coming over here, so I figured you'd already be on your way. You always have an excuse. She's full of them. Something bugging Andy? Uh, it's just Casey. The news hit him pretty hard. Hey, excuse me, hey. has anybody okay. seen Andy? I'm yeah. supposed to go over to Lila's with him. Yeah, yeah, he was just here, but he seemed really upset. Maybe I should go talk to him. Uh, actually, Franny, I think he just needs some space right now. I mean, there's a lot of memories of Julie here. After all, this is the place where they got to know each other last summer. Well, aren't you going to ask me to sit down? No. What are you doing on this flight? Oh, well, I had some business in Toronto, then that business took me to New York. I hope you're not in New York looking for some more modeling work, because, you know, Mary Elizabeth is going to keep you very busy. I was visiting a sick friend. Oh, really? When we were there together, I don't remember you mentioning any friends in New York. You staying in Chicago? 
No, actually, I think we'll probably be on the same commuter back to Oakdale. Yes, I'm sure that's true, and you can do me a favor. I'm sure Caleb is going to be meeting my plane, and I would appreciate it if you would wait to get off. <clears throat> doesn't Caleb trust you? Yes, he trusts me. It's you he doesn't trust. Oh. Can I, um, get you a glass of champagne? No, thank you. Why don't you go back to first class where it's free? All right. I'll see you on the commuter. There's just one minute made left. I'll play you for it. Yo, great game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got thirsty just watching you guys. Minute made orange. The orange orange. The official soft drink of the NBA. When I want a lightly sweet cookie, I eat a honey-made graham from Nabisco. Mmm. But when I want a crisp and crunchy cracker, I eat a honey-made graham. But when I want something wholesome with natural honey, like a cookie, that's when I eat a honey-made graham. And when I want something crackling like a cracker, I eat a honey-made graham. But you know, sometimes I want a juicy steak, so I eat a steak. And then I eat... <laughs> Honey-made grams, a crunchy cracker, a honey of a cookie, and low-fat, too. Everyone loves the taste of Hellman's real mayonnaise. Potatoes have eyes for Hellman's. Onions cry for Hellman's. Lobsters claw for celery stalks. And food loves Hellman's. The rich, creamy taste of Hellman's. It makes foods you love best taste even better. Hellman's has the taste you love. Good food gets better. Just put it all together with the one best mayonnaise. Yes, food loves Hellman's. So bring out the Hellman's and bring out the best. Can Murphy settle a strike? Don't let me choose between my union and you. I'd never ask you to do that, Carl. But I will wear those black pumps you like so much. Murphy Brown. Then, can Suzanne deal for wheels? Now, if I was alone in this situation, I'd use sex appeal. But since I'm with you two, I'll say we go for pig. December Monday. Hey, you're not letting that argument with Ellie bother you, are you? Are you? No, no, not really. I was thinking about Lila. Huh. And just, just the emptiness that you feel when somebody you love like that is taken away from you. I don't know how I, I'd ever deal with Hey, 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 come on, Meg. That's never gonna happen to us. Sometimes. And I just get so scared. Why? So many things can happen. I, I, was, I was thinking about when I was little and Seth and Mama came home from the hospital and Mama was crying and said that Papa was never going to come home again. Oh, and even Kirk and Iva. I mean, a couple of months ago, I thought they'd be setting a wedding date and... And suddenly it's all gone. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be unsensitive. Oh, no, no, no. Iva. No, I'm no, sorry. it's okay. It's, it's okay, really. It sure would help if she was happy, but... Nothing can take away from the happiness I've found with you. Nothing. Oh, and I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong to blame <laughs> Ellie. I mean, maybe, uh, maybe Kirk was just the wrong man for... Look, we're gonna go over to Lila's later, and I know it's not gonna be a happy time over there, so why don't we just concentrate on the positive things right now, okay? Like meeting Caleb's new wife. I can't figure out Caleb. I never have. He's always talked to Ellie, and I've always shared with Holden. But I don't know, he seems really happy with Julie. Different. Very open, you know? Yeah, well, that's what happens when you meet the right woman. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> mm. 
guys, please hurry up. 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 Hur
Heard what? Is it about Kim and Grandfather? No, uh, Dad's living at the house, and they're gonna get things together very soon, I hope. It's about Casey, isn't it? He went into a coma last night. He's gone, honey. He knew he wasn't gonna get out of it. Well, it's better this way. Try these common sense oat bran waffles. Oh, so today we're doing wholesome. Hey, wait, these are really good. I wouldn't mind eating them all day. I have nothing planned. Seriously, we should have these again sometime. How does tomorrow sound? Works for me. Kellogg's common sense oat bran waffles from Eggo, also in fruit and nut. You never expected wholesome oat bran to taste so. There's a common misconception, among humans, that is, that bigger potato taste comes from bigger potatoes. Elves know better. We use the whole potato, skins and all, to put big taste in tato skin snack chips. Now that's big. So, if it's bigger potato taste you're craving, remember, it's not a bigger potato you need, it's Keebler tato skins for big potato taste. When I think of all the mosquitoes and gnats and uh, chiggers, I'm sure glad there's Caladryl, because only Caladryl contains Benadryl, the most recommended topical antihistamine for itch. Caladryl can help stop almost any itch. Poison ivy or poison oak, no seums, those little things that get you. For those of you who avoid sugar, now there's sugar-free dentine. Same great taste, same fresh breath, but this time without the sugar. If you want the buzz, just listen up, cuz there's trouble just ahead. For Reba and Josh, oh my gosh, look out for that woman in red. Give me the buzz, give me the buzz, give me, give me, give me the buzz. Guiding light, make it your passion today. Hug, but I'm all wet. That's okay. You guys uh, over here working on the Strickle account? I thought Lily took you off of that. Well, she did. I just took Emily out to dinner. Strictly pleasure. So, have you heard anything from Hal? Uh, well, not really, no. Uh, Duncan suggested that he check out the castle uh, where he and Shannon got married. I don't know. He's going to give it a shot. We'll see. Well, I just hope that Hal doesn't run into any more dead ends. Yeah, me too. He can't uh, spend the rest of his life in Europe. Well, I'm sure he's going to be coming home once he hears this about Margo and Casey. What about Margo? Didn't you read the Argus? Well, Margo's the one who pulled the plug on Casey's respirator. What? Are you sure? I'm positive. Can I speak to you, please, Mom? What's up? Emily just told me that Margot's the one that pulled the plug on Casey. Uh, yeah, yeah, she did. She felt that she was doing what Casey wanted. Annie, Margot's been having a really rough time about that lately. Yeah. I can't believe this. Well, Paul and I were supposed to go see Lila. I wonder if we should do that now. Of course you should. Lila would love to see you guys. I mean, um, Sean and I are planning on going over after dinner, and I think Mom and Dad will be there, but you two go ahead. Go, go on now. Anything new between uh, Mom and Bob? Not that I know of, but Dad's still at the house, so that's good. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just get hit with a lot today, so... Oh, no. It's a lot to take in. Ready? Yeah. Hello, darling. Hi. Hey. Happy birthday. Oh, hey, I have a present for you at my apartment. Oh, you shouldn't, darling, but I am glad you remembered. Have you started work here, Andy? Actually, not officially. Tomorrow. <laughs> uh, Andy, we better yeah, take we off. We're going to go see Lala. Have, have a nice birthday, Graham. Oh, Bye. thank you, yeah. darling. Right. Thank you, Lala. Yeah. Well, well, look who's well, here. Well, hey. Surprise. <laughs> hi, Grandma. Oh, hi. Is oh. it Link? Yep. Link, this is Nancy and Mac. This is Link Lafferty, our new lady. Nice to meet you. Hi, Link. How you doing? Yeah. Hey, uh, we better get to our table, huh? Right. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Right, see you later, See you later. Mate. 
Okay, what do you say we could change before dinner? Well, I don't know. I kind of like what you're wearing right now. Uh, Besides, I thought we might go and take a couple of laps. Did you compete or something? You're a really good swimmer. Yeah, I did back in high school. I'm trying to make as much use as I can of the Snyder Pond. It's great over there. Well, they're a great family. I haven't seen much of them since Holden and I got a divorce, but that's, that's changing now that Julie's married to Caleb. I didn't realize you and Julie were friends. Yeah, we're good friends. I can't wait till she gets back from Seattle. When do you think that might be? I don't really know. Caleb said tonight or tomorrow or something like that. Come on, I'll race you to the pool. Okay, guys, I've checked it out. The plane has already landed, and it should be at the gate any second. Hey, you know, if you don't settle down, you're going to blow a gasket, son. The gift shop was closed. I couldn't even get her any flowers. Oh, hey, would you relax? I have never met Julie, but I will bet you anything. When she gets off this plane, all she's going to want to see is you. Yeah, Meg is right. Now, listen, speaking of Julie, whatever happened to that modeling contract? That no, was all taken care of. She talked to Tonio's secretary before she left town. Tonio? Oh, yeah, I didn't didn't mention this to you, but uh, she got a big modeling contract with one of Tonio's clients. But don't worry, Tonio has nothing to do with it. Well, I hope Goodness. not. Does she know him? Uh, yeah, sort of. Hey, 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 Look, I got the whole clan is here. Oh, How are you, girls? Yeah, yeah. Good to have you home. Josh, Julie. Hi. Hi. It's wonderful to meet you. Welcome to the family. Oh, thank, thank you me. very much. It's kind of crowded. Why don't we uh, talk out in the car? Well, actually, we have two cars. You can take your choice. How come? Well, I didn't want to tell you this over the phone with all you were dealing with with your mom, but um, Casey Peretti passed away last night. Oh, no. In fact, we're going to go straight to the wake after we leave here. Oh. Well, listen, um, I really want to get a chance to hear all about it. Why don't we go out in the coffee shop? Sure, it's fine by okay. me. All right. Oh, I don't right. believe it. This is Tropicana Pure Premium. No other major brand of juice comes closer to this than Pure Premium. Now this is Tropicana Pure Premium Home Style for those with fond memories of mom's juice. Home Style is filled with juicy bits of real orange, like mom's. So if you like the taste of juicy bits, no other major brand comes closer to this than Pure Premium Home Style. Either way, you just can't pick a better juice. Lens Crafters made me these wonderful top quality glasses and got me back on track in about an hour. Lens Crafters puts the whole lab right in the store to custom craft your top quality glasses in about an hour. Call Lens Crafters at 1-800-522-LENS. What do kids see in Aquafresh for kids? Wow, Aqua Kid! With a super fun taste. He's super! Super complete, dear. These stripes fight cavities with fluoride. Got a brush! Aquafresh for kids. Super protection, super taste. Fiber laxatives. A woman who takes one when she's constipated is very much a lady in waiting. You take it and wait. Take it again and wait. Take more and wait. Because with any fiber laxative, you may have to take it for three days to get relief, and it can cause bloating. Why do that to yourself? Take Correctol. Correctol gives a woman the relief she wants. Gentle overnight relief. Correctol, the gentle laxative more women prefer. We'll continue with part two of As the World Turns in just a moment. To our future. To our bright, shining future. They said it couldn't be done, but the big day is here. I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss a bride. And after the happy couple exchange their vows. My turn to kiss a bride. Her jilted lover plans his revenge. Guiding light, weekdays. This is CBS. This old house has seen some living. This old floor is dim with grime. These old tiles are dull and dingy with the stubborn stains of time. I'm gonna pour this floor some top job. Bring it back to what it's been. Using top job with ammonia. This old floor will glow again. I don't want to see that dirt no longer. I don't want to see that grime no more. I just want to smell that clean ammonia. floors are harder to clean. As time goes by, dirt clings to the rough spots in older floors, caused by wear and tear. 
but Top Job gets to the bottom of the job. Top Job contains ammonia. It's the only leading floor cleaner that does. Top Job cuts through the layers, dissolves the trapped in dirt. Top Job gets to the bottom of the job. Her back was shattered, but not her dreams. This week, rock star Gloria Estefan talks to people about her hopes and fears after that harrowing bus crash. This week, paralyzing pain and triumph. People, that's what we're all about. The designer behind the sexiest clothes in the world on hard copy. And now, part two of As the World Turns. A surprise. Are you all here to see someone off? Uh, Julie just landed. You must have been on her plane. No, really. Amazing. You must have been in coach class. Hello, Meg. Rod. Hello. Hi. Caleb, this must have been your first time separated from your new wife. As a matter of fact, it was, Tony. Huh? Was it hard for you? Well, Julie was where she belonged, in Seattle with her mom. Ah. Uh. And Meg, what brings you to Oakdale? We're actually here for Casey Peretti's funeral. Casey passed away? Yes, last night. Well, my heart goes out to his widow and his, his daughter. Well, I hope you enjoy your evening. Thank you. My heart goes out to his oh, widow and his daughter. A load of BS. That man hadn't got a sympathetic bone in his body. Every time I see him, I just... Oh. I'd like to do a lot more than that. Oh, come on, come on. He's not worthy of any more of our attention. No. Yeah, right. I think that was a good idea about going to the coffee shop, Julie. Yeah, I think we got enough time before the wake. Yeah, yeah sure. I'd really like to spend some time with you guys. Uh, if it's okay with you, Caleb. Well, you know, I've never been able to refuse you anything. <laughs> All right, let's go. Mm -hmm. Hey. Uh, we didn't come in a bad time. No, no, I'm glad you stopped we, uh, by. We wanted a chance to see you alone where there was no big crowd around so we can tell you how both sorry the both of us are. Hey guys, how are you? Hey Paul, how you doing? doing great. Good, Good to see, see you. you. Hey, Andy, how are you? On the trip. Thanks, thanks. It's hard to believe that uh, Casey's gone. Yeah, you know, Lila, uh, I really didn't know Casey as well as I'd like to, but I really did admire him. You know, I'm, I'm going to blow up a lot of those photographs that I took of you and Casey and, uh, and Kate at her first birthday party. I just love that. Thank okay. you, okay. Andy, really. Sure. How's your mom? Have you heard from her? Um, no, not really, no. Duncan suggested to Hal that he go look at some castle uh, way out on the countryside. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Well, I hope Hal finds her. Yeah, and, if, and if you get a chance to talk with her, just tell her how precious time is, okay? Joe, Joe, I'd like you to meet uh, some very special friends. This is John's son, Andy Dixon, Hi. and nice to meet you, uh, Paul Ryan. Ryan. This is Casey's dad, Joe, you, Joe Peretti. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm sorry to interrupt, but we should be leaving for the wake pretty soon. Yeah, I know. I've, I've got to get ready. Well, we don't want to keep you. So. Well, you're both invited, okay? an amazing woman. I don't know how she does it. I mean, she even managed to ask about my mom after all she's been through. Craig, I found out about Margot. What's gonna happen to her? Well, hopefully the state will just dismiss the charges after an investigation. And what if they don't? Because, Craig, I can handle it. Uh, she's my sister, too. I'm sorry, Andy. That's true. Uh... Worst case scenario, we're looking at first degree murder. And so that's why I unplugged the respirator. I really hope you can understand. Yes, I can. You seem to be taking the news rather calmly. Oh, maybe she's in shock. I know I still am. No, Duke, I'm, I'm not in shock. With the camp, you get used to death. I consider it part of life, actually. But from what I saw, um, 
it's the people who are left behind who suffer the most. And I'm sure Grandmother must be suffering quite a lot. Um, I'd really like to go see her tonight. <clears throat> well, the wake is tonight, and I don't want you to put yourself through all that. The funeral's tomorrow. <sighs> Father, um, I'd really like to be with her. I don't consider this an ordeal. Actually, I consider death to be a release from suffering. I mean, of course I'm going to miss Casey, but I just really would like to be with Grandmother tonight. With all of you. I think you should, Leon. But I'm not going to be there. I've decided it's best if I don't go because Casey's parents are still there and they blame me for what happened and I don't want to upset them. Margo, how can they blame you for this? This is what Casey wanted. I mean, it would be more terrible for him to be trapped in all those machines now. It would just cause more suffering and more pain. I understand why Casey wanted you to do this, Margot, and I understand why you did it. Honey, thank you for seeing it so... so very clearly. Dinner at the Garrett's is always special, and the house dressing is always out of the ordinary. House Italian from Kraft. Spicy red peppers. Sweet basil. Kraft House Italian's taste has made it a favorite at the Garrett house, and probably yours. House Italian from Kraft. America's house dressing. I always thought arugula was an island in the Caribbean. Mmm, a little cheddar makes plain veggies taste better. But take the cheddar cheese away, and you can just say... No way! Because cheddar cheese makes all the difference. Hooray! On all kinds of vegetables, cheese makes all the difference. How do orange juice, tomato juice, and grapefruit juice measure up to prune juice? You get more of seven important vitamins and minerals in a glass of great-tasting SunSweet prune juice. Mmm, SunSweet. Here's to your health. Looking like you just left out of the salon. Salon Selectives. Salon Shine. Salon Selectives. Salon Beautiful. From the salons of Elaine Curtis, Salon Selectives. Select your personalized shampoo, your personalized conditioner, to give you the right combination for salon beautiful hair. Like you just left Yesterday, one for today, and one for tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, well, there wasn't a place for all the candles that should be on this cake. Uh, you'll always be younger than springtime to me. Well, I hope oh, a little Mac, bit more mature than that. Yeah. Here you go. Hey. Hey. Everybody join oh, well, us. Oh, it's too bad that Andy's still not here to take pictures. Oh, isn't it? You know, I thought maybe he could be our official photographer for the AIDS Benefit Ball. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. a great idea, Graham. You know, uh, Sean, I keep hearing about this AIDS ball. I hope you're going to let me go. Oh, I didn't think it was your sort of thing. Oh, well, it's a party, isn't it? Oh, right. <laughs> Link, I hope you're going to go. I was hoping you could sit at the M&A table. Yeah, Lily's already twisted my arm. All right. uh, don't get me wrong, Mrs. Stewart. I know it's for a great cause and all. It's just... The idea of wearing a monkey suit just makes me a little uncomfortable. No, oh, well, you're not alone there. Oh, but you men look so handsome in your tuxedo. Oh, oh no cake for me. I'm going to get ready for go for another swim. Oh, I'm going to join. I'm going to join you. Nancy, happy birthday. Thank you, dear. Bye, guys. Hey, I saw how quiet you got when the subject of the AIDS ball came up. Well, last year I was there with someone that I loved very much. We danced the tango together. So I guess it'd be too hard on you to go again this year, huh? Well, there will be a lot of painful memories, but I have to do it for my grandmother's sake. Well, in that case, will you save one dance for me? Something other than the tango, that is. I love this place. <laughs> I don't ever want to be separated again from the baby. Well, I'm going to make sure that that doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. Here. I got a surprise. Hey! Cal, got us a little... Champagne? Should Celebrate be. your homecoming properly. Fabulous. Well, let's open it up. Well, listen, you sure you don't want to call your mother first? Make sure everything's okay. No, I think she's going to be all right. All she needs right now is rest, and I don't want to run the risk of waking her up. Now, I still can't believe that that slime ball Tony got off of your plane. Yeah, you and me both. I just felt bad because Meg was there yeah. after everything he put her through. 
God, I don't want to talk about him anymore. What I'd like to do is pour a little champagne, go upstairs, and celebrate oh. properly. <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay. Right. Hello. Well, I see you got home safely. What's this all about? I just want you to know that your secret is safe with me. I know your new family thinks you just got home from Seattle, but we know differently, don't we? I'll be talking with you soon. We're not interested. Thank you. So, who was that? Somebody trying to sell us a magazine subscription. Uh, that's all we need. Just think. We've got the whole house all to ourselves tonight. We don't have to worry about thin walls or nothing. Well, you know, when you were gone, I realized just how much I love you. Oh, baby. I feel the same way. And I'm not going to let anything or anyone ever come between us. first bout with a yeast infection taught me to use Vagisil to stop the itching, burning symptoms instantly. I saw my gynecologist about the infection, but Vagisil cream relieved the burning and the itching. And if Vagisil can relieve the itch of a yeast infection, Vagisil cream can stop any minor feminine itching instantly. For feminine moisture problems, I trust Vagisil powder. Vagisil absorbs moisture, absorbs odor, helps keep you dry, odor-free. Vagisil feminine powder. It's a comfort to know more people have taken Somonix over the past 30 years than any other sleep aid. Safe, simple, Somonix. For constipation, one laxative has both more fiber and no sugar. Fiberol. These brands have equal laxative fiber. Metamucil adds sugar. Fiberol adds brand. Result, relief. Fiberol. No sugar, more fiber. Lana, Margot wanted to be here, but she didn't want to make Casey's parents uncomfortable. She thought there might be a chance that Maureen could lose it. So. I told Margot earlier that she was getting better with it. She... Well, I can see she... What? What's wrong? Uh, it's Gary. I, I saw the wheelchair go in the room, and for a second I... Father... She had... I'm so grateful for the talk we had earlier. Well, I just hope it helped a little. Oh, it did. Yeah. Excuse me. Uh, what was that about? Oh, Joe, maybe I'll never be able to forgive Margot for what she did, but Father reminded me that it's not for us to sit in judgment. Margot's fate is in the hands of a higher authority now. Gary, I'm so glad you could make it. And thank you for the flowers, the, the card, it was so special. I'm glad you like them. It's a good thing Duke was able to make it to be a chauffeur tonight also. Well, and a lot of the vets are hoping to come to the funeral tomorrow, too. Oh, oh I'd, I'd like you to meet Casey's parents. This is Maureen and, and Joe Peretti. This is Gary Podvitz. He was one of the vets at the hospital. Uh -huh. Your son was quite a guy. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have my job at Memorial. A lot of the guys, I'll never forget him. Thanks, Gary. It's nice to hear you say that. Just tell it like it is. Excuse me, I gotta get some coffee. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I think I'll join. Yeah, go okay. for a cup of yourself. Mm -hmm. 
Lila. Oh. Now, you're not thinking of going back to work at the hospital too soon, are you? Why don't you come to Boston and have a visit with us? Yeah, I, I, I can't begin to make plans yet. It, it's going to be good for you to go home, though, and be with the rest of the children and family. <sighs> no one will ever take Casey's place. You know, all my life I tried not to show partiality, but <laughs> Casey was... Honey, uh, why don't you come over here and sit down, huh? Lila, Katie's so adorable. You must be so proud of I her. Am. She's beautiful. Isn't she? She's the best. <laughs> Josh and I were talking. Mm -hmm. Now, I know that you're not ready yet, but when you are, we would like to give you an open invitation to come down to Waco whenever you want. The ranch is huge. There's plenty of room for both you and Kate, and Kate's always welcome. Thank you. That's a firm offer, Lila. Mm -hmm. You just say the word, and I'll arrange to have my jet take you and uh, that beautiful little girl of yours down to Waco. Stay as long as you like. Thank you. So, Duke, not eating, huh? No, I don't got much of an appetite. I mean, I know we're supposed to be honoring Casey here and everything, but uh, it just makes you feel worse. Everybody's so gloomy and everything. It's not, it's not Casey's style at all. So many invitations yeah. to go places. <laughs> People are so kind. Do you know that Meg invited me to Waco? You may know all about it. <laughs> yes, I know. I know it's so hard at first when I... When I first lost my husband, it was, it was terrible. But then I, I began to realize that, that he was still with me. All the joy, all the, all the life we had together, I, I still had it in my heart. Hi. Leanne. Yeah. I didn't know you were going to be here tonight. Mm -hmm. Are you feeling OK? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm just worried about you. I'm going to get some coffee. Excuse me. OK. OK. Come here. Um, listen, I, I only heard about Casey after my last exam. I, yeah, I, I know, honey. Must have been a big shock to you. Um, well, I think I view death, um, differently than other people. I was only shocked when my mother died. After that, it was very hard for me to accept it. Um... But then I realized that she was still with me. And in the weeks after, when I was trying to get out of Vietnam, knowing that if they found me, it would mean my death, it was the presence of my mother that kept me going. And I know, Lila, that you're going to find that Casey is with you and with Kate. <laughs> Wake. A lot of people were asking about you. Well, so do I to figure out why I wasn't there? Say, shouldn't you be with Mama? Oh, come on. There's millions of people over the house supporting her, you know, came back. I came here to find out whether or not you told Tom you're pregnant. Her. No. Why not? Because I tried to at the station, but then Mama walked in. You know, she is trying, sis. I know she's trying, but it's just she's going through the motions, really. Maybe. Maybe. I do have a message for you from Casey's dad. He says that he doesn't blame you for what you did. He knows that Casey wouldn't have wanted to live on those machines. Oh, man. You thank him for me, Craig. I told Leanne about it. She was really pretty terrific. She was very supportive, and she totally understood, which is more than I can say for Tom. Hello. Is Mrs. Hughes there, please? Yes, this is she. Mrs. Hughes, Blythe Nelson here from W.O.A.K. Yes. I was wondering if you'd be interested in appearing on my program, Heart of the City, to talk about Casey Peretti. No, absolutely not. Now, surely, Mrs. Hughes, you could use a form to tell your side of the story. No. Can you... It's one of Tonio's bloodhounds. Well, I guess this is just the beginning, really. Please, please don't let it be a reporter. Hello. 
Yes, who is this? Who? What? Why? Wait, why are you saying that? Introducing Sunrinse Downy Dryer Sheets. Turn on the sunshine, turn on the freshness. New Sunrinse Downy Dryer Sheets. So airy, light, so sunny, fresh, it's like hanging your wash in the sunshine. Turn on the sunshine, turn on the freshness. Sunrinse Dryer Sheets, new from Downy. The fabric softener that gives you fluffy softness, too. Turn on the sunshine, freshness. Sunrinse Dryer Sheets, new from Downy. Come on in. Ever feel too clumsy when you wake up to make a pot of coffee? There is a better way to wake up. With Maxwell House Filter Packs. No fumbling, no bumbling. It's never been easier to brew a rich, perfect pot of Maxwell House coffee every time. Filter Packs from Maxwell House. In regular and decaffeinated. A better way to wake up. Got great curves? Great curves deserve. 18 hour. Playtex 18 hour bra. Supports full figures more beautifully. Comfortably. Great curves deserve. The 18 hour bra. From Playtex, the fit that makes the fashion. You scum. I never want to see you again. I hate soap scum like this. So I use new X14 soap scum remover. It's made to get rid of disgusting soap scum. So try new X14 soap scum remover. Thanks for driving me back so I can get my stuff out of my locker. No problem. Still thinking about Casey? No, I'm just uh, remembering last summer here with Julie. They weren't all bad memories, you know. Yeah. So you want to lift home or what? No, that's all right. It's quiet here. I'm going to stay here for a while. OK. See you tomorrow, then. Yeah, good night. Circumstances, you know. Yeah, lady's showing a lot of courage. Anybody hungry? Yeah, I'm starving. I would have thought you two would have eaten by now. <laughs> we were busy. Mm -hmm. Can't blame you, Caleb. Your sister and I haven't been separated one night since we've been married. I'm not sure I could stand it. <laughs> Hopefully, you'll never have to find out. <laughs> hey, Lincoln, what brings you here? I thought you'd be settling into your new apartment in Lily's building. Yeah, I looked at it, but it was a little too rich for my blood. I thought we agreed that uh, Stricko would pick up the tab. Thanks, Cal, but I, I just wouldn't feel right having the company spend that kind of money on rent. If it wouldn't be, you know, too much trouble, I'd like to stay here until I find something cheaper, that is. Sure, fine. Well, uh, Gary's all loaded in the van. You ready to roll? Uh, yeah. Um, just give me a minute. Sure. Oh, honey. Thanks for the I love you. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow, OK? Yeah, I'm taking the vets on over. Uh, anything else I can do? Ah, uh, no thanks. Thanks. It just meant a great deal to me that you were here. Okay, we'll see you. Yeah. Good night. I didn't.
didn't expect so many people to come pay their respects. Oh, I'm not surprised. Casey touched a lot of lives. Well, I guess tomorrow I say my final goodbye. Never had a chance when he was alive. Margot took that away from me. Well, how was my little pumpkin? Well, huh? Kim says he was a perfect <laughs> angel. He is a perfect angel, the best. So Kim and Bob were at the wake together? Yeah, they were there. Susan was there, too, but she left in a hurry when they showed up. Did you tell Mama why I wasn't there? Yeah, I told her. Uh, she took it in stride. She's not going to understand, however, if you're not at the funeral. I will be at the funeral. Okay. Sorry, I'm a little edgy. Want a glass of wine or something? No, no, I can't. No, I don't care for anything. Okay. Would you get that? Because I got a Craig call earlier while Craig is here. Yeah, sure. Hello? This is Tom Hughes. Sure, I can hold on. Uh, it's Jason Benedict. When you have as little as 12 months to grow from a newborn into an adult, every day is crucial. A growing puppy needs about twice the nutrition of an adult dog. That's why we put extra protein and iron in Purina Puppy Chow brand puppy food. Because without extra nutrition now, your puppy could face a tough climb ahead. We put a thousand cockroaches in this model house and this incredible roach bait. Only Raid Max attacks with sulfluramin. So powerful for every roach that takes the bait, up to 50 more can die in their nest. In three days, we remove the dead roaches and search for survivors. All we saw was Raid Max. Raid Max Roach Bait. When Max attacks, you win. My interview's in an hour, and I'm out of antiperspirant. So I used my daughter's suave. It kept me cool and dry through hours of interviews. And when she told me you save with suave, I switched. Saving money is very important to us office managers. Fiber laxatives. A woman who takes one when she's constipated may have to wait and wait for three days to get relief. And it can cause bloating. Why do that to yourself? Take Correctol. It gives a woman gentle overnight relief. Correctol. Saturday, the Cardinals face Andre Dawson and the Cubs. Or Will Clark leads the Giants against the Astros. This summer, it's baseball on CBS. has just about given up on dating. He's the most beautiful man I've ever seen. Then she spots the man of her dreams. I think she looks terrific just the way she is. And proves that love comes in all sizes. Baby Cakes, Tuesday. Stay tuned for Guiding Light, next on most of the CBS stations. Bags and Belts by Oscar de la Renta. Join us tomorrow for As the World Turns. This is CBS.